guys, Mad Runner here, Jeff. Happy Global Running Day. So, today what I'm going to talk about is going to be basically what I use to videotape and film what I'm using on the trail. Uh, my last video I filmed on the SRT, which is a local trail in my area, Schuylkill uh, River Trail. So, basically what I'm going to go over is what I use. So, I use a GoPro Session 4. Um, sorry, I can't show it to you because I'm using it right now. But I think you all kind of know what that is. It's basically that little cube uh, GoPro that came out like a year or so ago. Um, very minimalized kind of GoPro unit. But I love it. It's lightweight. Does exactly what I want it to do. Um, and then what I also use is going to be this guy here. So this is basically a heavy-duty clip. I actually can mount my GoPro on this thing and I can actually clip it to my ultimate direction or my orange mud uh, pack that I'm using at that time whatever you know you can use it on anything really it just it clips to anything so um, great little unit the only drawback with this thing is um, if you do have it attached to a pack or whatever there is that's whole stability kind of thing so you do get more of that shaky video uh, Blair Witch project kind of shooting I like to call it um, so then what I noticed was while I was filming with that I liked what it, I could do as you know pho photography and filmmaking and stuff like that but the problem was it was just too shaky for me so I went out and I invested in a uh, Roxent it's a stabilizer unit so I couldn't go out and spend a ton of money this thing was pretty reasonable um, got it off of Amazon Great company, Roxon.com. They got a bunch of cool little gadgets out there that you can check out on their website. So basically what I use um, is this guy here. So this is my gimbal. So it's a stabilizer gimbal. So basically it comes with this longer attachment handle. Um, any gimbal that you get, what you want to do is you're going to want to oil this gimbal piece here. Um, if not, it's a little juggered or uh, doesn't move around as nice as it should so you need that nice smoothness so while you're you're you know, you're filming and stuff I'm gonna throw in some video prior to using the gimbal and you've all seen the video with me using the gimbal so still a little getting used to it but I'm getting the hang of it so I can't wait to do some more filming out on the trails um, you've got your weight systems down here so basically you're gonna levelize this thing um, just so with your GoPro up top that you know you, you want it kind of leveled out so you, that it's not sloped down too much or whatever. So you got some ad fine adjusting that you need to do when you get one of these guys. Um, they also were kind enough to send me the smaller handled unit, so the smaller gimbal handle. So I can actually use this with my GoPro unit because I have the smaller unit. This is going to be for more like the GoPro Hero. You can use this with cell phones, um, you know, your digital cameras. You can basically hook anything up to this guy. So this, this is a nice unit. Um, I think I got it for right around 80 bucks, uh, and that's with shipping and stuff. So go check those guys out. What I also use is, what I also use is, sounds a little weird, is uh, the GoPro tripod stand. So this guy, you know, opens up. You have different things that you can do with this. And no, not a selfie stick, people, but it can be used for a selfie stick. I always get jerked around, uh, teased at work if I have my selfie stick. So now guys, I got my selfie stick. So, um, but you can use this with running and stuff. I also have another tripod that I'm using right now when I do my filming um, for these videos. Uh, it's a little unit that I got off of the internet um, company that was on uh, Shark Tank. Uh, so that was uh, Polar, Polar is the name of the company. I have it in my um, list of things I use on my description area, so. But this guy actually opens up and uses, you know, opens up and you can use this as a tripod. Uh, I like using my other unit here that I, I have the GoPro set up on because it has a rubber base where this is more of a, a harder plastic. So it kind of slides around and moves around. It's an okay unit. It's not the greatest, but it's good to be a handheld. So that's about it. Um, go check out GoPro. I'm sure most of you guys, especially nowadays, are using GoPro units. Um, uh, the GoPro 4 Session is a really reliable piece of equipment. I was looking at that and the Polaroid Cube um, kind of went with this guy instead because, you know, GoPro has a, 
a good following and a reliable company. Not saying that Polaroid doesn't, but there's a little more flaws with the Polaroid unit. So go out, check GoPro.com. Go check out Roxant.com. That's where I got the gimbal. Give those guys some love. Show them, you know, go buy the product. They got some cool little gadgets out there. Um, the clip. And that's about it, guys. Uh, real short, simple. Get out there and run today. You know, pledge to run. It's global running day. So you got to get some mileage in. I don't care if it's a half a mile or whatever. Just get out there and run. Um, Want to wish my good friend Josh safe trips and travels. He's heading back south. Um, going to miss you, bro. And uh, that's about it. Stay tuned for episode 13. And thank you, everyone, for subscribing. Share these videos. I appreciate it. I'm up to 91 subscribers as of today. I'm totally blown away with how many people have been watching. I know I bombard you guys sometimes on Inst Instagram and Facebook, but just want my name out there. And I, I really enjoy like really enjoy doing these things so um hope you're enjoying them too so thank you i appreciate it and again go have fun get out there run i'll talk to you guys later see ya